welcome, my name is Solon and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at using end mode as a way to jump to the end of a specific cell or a specific region of data, as well as a method to highlight a series of data within a column or row. So with that, let's get started. Here in Excel, in the last video, we looked at using the home key where we press the home key and we would automatically jump to the leftmost column available in our worksheet. In this case, it would be G2. So you would think that pressing the end key would be the equivalent where we would be able to jump to this cell here. But when you press the end key in Excel 2013, it activates this thing called end mode. End mode is a little bit different in that it has two main functionalities of which I commonly use it. The first is if you activate end mode, again, by pressing the end key on your keyboard, the end key is often between the delete key and the page down key. If you're using a full QWERTY keyboard, you activate the end mode and then you press the right arrow and it will jump to the end here of your data region. It's kind of the equivalent of pressing control right arrow. So I'm gonna press end and then jump over and that would be the equivalent here of pressing control right arrow. Now, End mode has another functionality, which is kind of cool, is if you enable end mode by pressing the end key one time, then you press the shift key and right arrow, it would highlight all those cells. Or if you press the end key to activate end mode, and then the shift key to press the right arrow, and then you activate end mode again and press the shift key and the down arrow, you can highlight all of that section. So there are a couple uses, a couple nuanced uses, for end mode within Excel. I find that there are other keyboard shortcuts that will achieve the same job often more efficiently, but it's a good trick to know. In this video, we looked at end mode. If you activate end mode by pressing the end key, you can then press the right arrow and it would go to the end of your data region. If you press the end key, activate end mode, and then press the shift key and right arrow, it would highlight all of those cells between your active cell, in our case, G2, and that of the end of the region, in this case, L2. You can also do this to highlight the cells below. So you can press end to activate end mode, shift key and down arrow, and it would highlight all of the cells below your active cell. So join us in our next video where we'll look at the keyboard shortcut of control end. It will allow you to move to the last cell in a specific worksheet rather than just the data region. So check that out in our next video and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.